this project is pretty much the gateway to a lot more of these type of projects all through southern Nevada, southern California, Arizona. We're right on track, we're right on schedule. We have over 170 boiler makers on this project. Uh, it's the first time I've seen a tower design like this with a solar water boiling reactor. These boilers are up 450 feet high, but they're inside out boilers. The water walls on the outside, the insulation on the inside. I call it an inside out boiler. This is inside out. The sun reflects off the mirrors all the way around the unit. It boils the water that's inside the water walls, which creates a steam, it goes into a steam turbine, and then it turns the generator. You figure this job here, we're talking approximately 350 megawatts, where a site with photovoltaic would probably put out maybe a third of that, if not, not less than that. If you were to use 90 or 100 percent of the mirrors, it would actually be too hot. It would cook the steel. I mean, that's how hot it's going to get up there. They, they want to condense as much as they can into the smallest places less amount of real estate as possible. Yeah, no room at all. You've got all the penthouse, everything, all your crossover tubing, your headers, everything is inside of the water walls and it's 44 foot square. So everything has to fit exactly like it's supposed to on the drawing. So we have to take the time to make sure everything is prepped properly before it goes up to save any additional work that rework up on top. You know, you got guys working above you, you got guys working below you, you know, different crafts. There's so many safety uh, implications, you know, you, you can't drop anything, you got to be real careful. We have three different safety teams which are made up of all different trades. They all talk to people, they, they watch them, they see if they're working safely, if they're not, they talk to them. I have a sense of uh, teamwork, of looking out for each other of what I call being my brother's keeper. If a boiler maker saw an iron worker or a pipe fitter or electrician or whoever in an unsafe situation, they would not hesitate in preventing that from happening. We're not here as a boiler maker, an iron worker, a pipe fitter. When, when it comes to safety or anything like that, there is no stripe on our hat. We are totally focused that every person that comes to work here in the morning goes home the same way. This project will go online, uh, is scheduled to go online in November 2013, and the boilermakers will meet that schedule. But if you think about the challenges that we've, we've done here, we've, we've met them all, you know, and we've, we've certainly couldn't have done it without the, the boilermakers that we've had here. It's the quality of the boilermakers we've got here. I, I've, and I've told this to many people, I have been with Bechtel for almost 30 years, and I have to say this is the best team that I've ever worked with. I just feel we're fortunate to be on the front edge of it and show our craftsmanship on assembling something like, something like this together. Union work all the way. I think this is our future. This is, uh, this is Boilermaker's future right here. We certainly hope that a lot of that that the journeyman and the foreman and the general foreman that we've now got here as a team can go with us to the next one. And to the next one, we take those skill sets and we do the next one. And that's what keeps unions working as far as my concern. I, I'm all convinced that if we uh, keep bringing these units in, jobs in on budget and on schedule, it keeps us more than competitive and, and keeps a union work where it needs to be.